Hey everyone, this is a review of the 2D animation app Calipeg, which is available on the iPad. It works with versions iOS 13 and up, and since it's pretty new, I wanted to share my thoughts on the interface, tools, some of my favourite features, and a few things I'd like to see added in the future. It is a paid app, but very affordable at 99 pence a month, 8 99 a year, or 43 99 to buy it outright. Most software trials only last a week or two, but if you want to see if you liked it, 99 pence isn't going to break the bank and it gives you a whole month to really test things out. So I've had an iPad for a while and I've been keeping an eye on what's out there for hand-drawn animation and a couple of weeks ago I would have told you my favourite app was Rough Animator. That was until I tried Calipeg. The interface is clean, simple and easy to use and there are several features and shortcuts in it that make it effortless to animate with. Along the top bar you can go back to the studio where all your shots are saved and group them to keep them more organised. Next up is the settings where you can customise different options like changing the interface to right or left handed, export your animation, adjust the onion skin change the background and sheet colours. And here is the flip sensitivity which I found to be a really nice feature. You can use it by swiping three fingers up and down on the canvas to view your animation. And finally the timeline. Back in the canvas, here you can hide or show the timeline, change your frame rate, play your animation, you then have the brushes and eraser tools, selection tool which allows you to easily flip and rotate your drawings, and finally beside that we have the colour picker and colour wheel which you can also change to sliders and make your own colour palettes. To the left there is the brush size, opacity and undo and redo buttons. If I hold one finger down on the brush size and scroll up or down with a pencil, I can change the size of the brush like this. It's the same for the opacity. Shortcuts for undo is a two finger tap, redo is a three finger tap, and a two finger tap and hold on the canvas will bring up this menu which allows you to clear your sheet, copy a selection and paste a selection. Now depending on the processor and capacity of your iPad, you can add as many layers as you like. Tap here to make a new layer, swipe right to select a single or multiple layers, drag layers to change the order, and you can show more or less of your timeline like this. On each layer there's also options for the layer opacity and turning on or off the onion skin. Turning on the magnetic function means adjusting one frame will shuffle along the others in the timeline like this. With it off, the individual frames are able to be adjusted without affecting the timing of the rest. Finally, clicking here allows you to access more options for each layer. You can delete, lock and select all sheets, merge all layers, duplicate with and without drawings and finally show only that layer and hide or make that layer visible. Double tapping to select a sheet before dragging your pencil up will bring up this menu with even more options. Things like making new drawings, which Calipeg calls sheets as they extend for multiple frames, is done with a quick double tap. If it lasts two or more frames, you can draw a line down the center of a sheet in the timeline and separate it into two, copying what you've drawn onto both sheets. Calipeg also allows you to do this across multiple layers. Another feature I really love is being able to select multiple frames across multiple layers and then use the selection tool to move or resize everything that I've selected. There's been so many times in other programs where I've animated something and then realised that it should be bigger or in a different place in the canvas and it's just been an absolute pain to move. If you've been animating something and all the drawings last for one frame but you want to make each of them last for two or even three but don't want to adjust them individually, all you need to do is select the sheet and then tap and drag upwards to access the menu. Go to the stopwatch and then select how many frames you want each drawing to last for. If you then want to add in-betweens to a sequence, this is made super easy. 
Select the layer or sheets again, tap and drag upwards to access the menu, and then select Create In-Between Structure. And this will generate an empty drawing between each of the sheets. Now, there's so many more features and shortcuts and things in CaliPeg that I haven't mentioned, but those were just a few of my favourites. That's not to say that the app is perfect, as there are lots of improvements that could be made, and I know the team are already looking into adding video and sound to projects. I'd love to be able to scrub through the timeline quickly and hear the audio as I do so, so it'd be easier to animate lip sync and even plan out animatics and music videos. Other features I'd love to have in CaliPeg are the ability to crop or resize the canvas. I tend to change my mind a lot while I'm working and will usually copy layers from one project into another to suit exporting to different platforms. There are smoothing options in the brush customization, but a brush stabilizer would be great for lining. My main software while I'm working on larger projects is TV Paint, and one thing I really miss from that is the opacity lock for layers. I would love to see a reference option or clipping mask so I can add texture on that layer or layers above, as it's one of the things I use most to finish off an animation. Blending modes would also be another thing that I would love to see in CaliPeg, and those really go hand in hand with the clipping masks or reference layers. You'd probably have a hard time keeping me in my office if all these features were in the app right now, but I'm looking forward to seeing how the team moves forward from here. I think the app is off to a really great start and has a ton of potential to be something really special for animation on the iPad. CaliPeg have released a full French and English guide of all the shortcuts and tools, so I've put a link in the description if you're interested. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and if you want to see more animations and tutorials from me, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell and I'll be back with another video real soon. Bye!